Vacuum coding is part of a family of coding technologies that encompasses a lot of different ways of, of making a coding. The reason you would use a, a vacuum coding is really because it provides a bunch of advantages that aren't available using other conventional coding technologies like, for example, spray coatings or electric plating or th those sorts of technologies. One of the advantages of vacuum coatings is that there's really an almost unlimited set of coating materials that you can apply. Polymers, you can do small molecule organics, you can do inorganics like metals, you can do ceramics. There is truly an unlimited ability to deposit materials in vacuum, and that's really the strength of that technology. Vacuum coatings are is a little bit of a misnomer. Typically, these coatings take place at really low pressures and are enabled by fantastic vacuum pumps that evacuate all of the air out of a chamber. But sometimes for certain plasma-based coating technologies, you actually need a little bit of an ambient environment that's very carefully controlled, typically made out of argon or some other sort of a process gas that you're gonna be reacting the material with. The coating technologies in vacuum are sort of split into two categories. There are plasma and non-plasma-based technologies. The non-plasma-based technology are things like evaporation or uh, conventional chemical vapor deposition, whereas the plasma-based technologies can be sputtering or cathodic arc or plasma-enhanced versions of atomic layer deposition or chemical vapor deposition. The advantages of vacuum-based deposition are, are really myriad. Uh, it provides you with super precise level of control of the amount of coating that you get that often isn't available using other more mechanical techniques. It also provides you with really high quality surfaces that you can't otherwise get. Under the right circumstances, if you need it, you can get atomic level layers of flatness with vacuum coatings. And this enables things like the entire semiconductor industry, for example, which would be completely impossible using plating or spray drying or other sorts of coating techniques. The other advantage of vacuum coating is that you can get truly high purity coatings or truly uh, carefully controlled compositions. Sometimes, for example, you need a coating that has very high chemical purity to enable specific application. And in that case, really vacuum coating is your only option because any other coating technology is gonna have some sort of a carrier associated with it, whether that's a solvent or a liquid. It's gonna have uh, part holding limitations that you simply can't get around except by using vacuum. Another example of the need to control composition is the fact that for certain materials like semiconductors, for example, or certain tool coatings, the mechanical properties that you're interested in can be very, very intimately controlled by controlling the composition of the coating. And using uh, non-vacuum based techniques, you're always going to have impurities that you can't control, that you can control in a vacuum environment. So that means you can add small fractions of a percent of dopants that can change your electrical conductivity or how hard the coating is. And this enables you to really tune in the properties that you need.